Hi, my name is uh, Noah Sher, and this is my large scale bus mock from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And large scale is <laughs> maybe an understatement with this build. This thing is massive. What Do you know what the, the wingspan is on this? About 72 inches. <laughs> so yeah, it's quite impressive here. So uh, talk about kind of what, what this uh, plane is for people who aren't familiar with the show, and then we'll dive into the build itself. Uh, so this is a plane from Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's known as the bus. It's like a mobile command station that the main characters use to go on a few missions. And uh, yeah, it's featured in the first two seasons of the show, and then unfortunately it uh, gets destroyed at the end of season two. But yeah, this ship is very, or this plane is very iconic uh, to the show, and I started rewatching it a few years ago when I started building this mock, and I just loved it so much, and I just had to build it in such a big scale. One thing that's so cool about this build is you actually have a detailed interior, but before we get to that, uh, the first thing you notice is all of the black pieces here. So you've got black slopes, you've got uh, tiles here. Did you have those in your collection already, or did you have to go out and find a lot of those pieces? I knew I had uh, a few, and I have like big buckets at home, so I had to dump them and search and scavenge for a lot of these black uh, bricks and tiles and plates. But I got a lot of, especially the tiles from Bricklink orders as well as uh, Pricker Brick. And something that's always impressive with planes, especially on this scale, uh, is the wing structure and the fact that these don't just crumple under their own weight. So what was that process like for you to make those rigid enough so that they could all stand up as you have this on display? Well, so originally I started building the plane from the ground up, uh, just off the top of my head. And as it came to working on the second level and the wings, I had to build those digitally so that way I can do the math right and make sure everything aligns. But when it came down to the wings, uh, so I built like the vertical part first with the shield logo and then like the wingspan I built separately. And so I placed it on top and then I put a lot of layers of plates and then toweled it off. But what's funny is that you can kind of see like the slight little slant of the wings. That was unintentional, but I think it works to the advantage. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. So another part of this is that rounded uh, front shape as well. So wh what types of pieces did you use to achieve that? How did you decide to go about getting that rounded cockpit area? Uh, so this plane is all brick built. So the cockpit area is all using just black slope bricks as well as smooth uh, t slopes as well. Um, and then with the cockpit area, I have like a lot of the one by two trans uh, clear brakes for the cockpit. Okay, so the plane can be taken apart in three sections. Over here is the top part with the wings and with the shield logo. And then uh, the front middle part of the plane is the second level. And so I guess we can start with the second level. So this is like the lounge area and this little round room is like the like a conference room where the main characters discuss about missions and important information. That is to move closer to the front is obviously the cockpit. And I really tried incorporating like this uh, curved brown uh, roofing with the trans uh, light blue t uh, plates. If I were to have lights, like those were are supposed to be lit up, but unfortunately I don't have uh, lights in this mock. It still looks really nice inside here. I like kind of the browns and tans that give a kind of a homey feel compared to the black and gray of the, the main body of the yeah. plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, when I was looking through reference pictures and screenshotting and rewatching the episodes which this plane is in, it's funny to see like the transition from the gray to the, to the tan color rooms. And then as we go further into the plane, what are, what are these areas? So starting from the front, there is a like a cargo room where you could just put storage in. As in the middle is the science lab where they conduct research while on missions. And a lot of iconic scenes happen in that room. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out, especially with the with the side table uh, pattern. And then moving on to the back is the cargo area where the car is. And if this were a minifigure scale, it would have, it could fit two cars next to each other. But unfortunately, it can only fit one. 
But yeah, the cargo area is definitely my favorite part of the whole plane. It's very detailed and I just love the way it came out. It starts off light gray and then as you move up, it gets dark gray and I love the, the flex tubing. Yeah, it's all those little details and some of those you know sp different colored tubing parts and all of that that really makes the inside stand out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's super fantastic work in there. So as you were adding all those details, was, was that there from the very beginning or did you just kind of build the body and then add that stuff on the inside? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Did you, did you build the body of the plane and then add all those details later or was that kind of part of the build as, oh. as it went up? So I started building from the ground up and then, uh, yeah, I started working on the interior as well as the outside structure. So everything was done together like layer by layer. Okay. Yeah. And it works, it works really well together. So when you bring it to a show then, is it these three main sections taken apart? Mainly only the wings. I can keep the second level okay. on the main body. And so what we actually have to do to take it here is these two foam boards. We encase, encase the wings on those two foam, uh, foam boards and wrap them with tape and put it in a, the back of a car. And then the main body can be carried by like two people. So it was mainly just the wings that was the main concern in order in transporting this mock. This is a lot of brick involved in all this. you know how much the build weighs uh, when it's all together? I don't know how much it weighs, but I know it's, it's very heavy. <laughs> um, I want to say that it's around maybe 10,000 pieces okay. because it may not look like that, but there's a lot of filler brick within the plane, especially the wings. But uh, I really didn't keep count of how many uh, pieces I was using only because I was just so focused on building this. So 10,000 can either be an underestimate or an overestimate. No, that part count rises very quickly once you start builds like this. So uh, thank you so much for kind of taking us through the whole build here and demonstrating uh, how it comes apart. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for uh, interviewing me. I really appreciate it.